The Doors of the Nile, Creation and Gods In a time before time, when the world was but a vast expanse of chaos, the waters of Nun stretched endlessly a silent abyss. From this abyss, a mound emerged, and atop this mound, the sun god Ray was born. Imagine the first light breaking the eternal darkness, a golden disk rising, bringing life and warmth. Ra wasn't just any god. He was the god of the sun, the bringer of light. Every morning he embarked on a journey across the sky, and every evening he descended into the underworld. But his journey wasn't without challenges. Each night he battled the serpent Apep, a creature of chaos, to ensure the sun would rise again. But Ra wasn't alone in shaping the world. From his tears, humans were born, and from his thoughts, other gods and goddesses emerged. There was Osiris, the god of the afterlife, and his sister wife, Isis, the goddess of magic. Together, they ruled the land, bringing fertility and order. Yet, the world of gods was as complex as ours. Osiris had a brother, Set, the god of storms and disorder. Jealous of Osiris's power, Set plotted against him, leading to tales of betrayal and resurrection. But that's a story for another time. Back to the creation. As the gods multiplied, they took roles, shaping the land and the lives of its people. The sky goddess Nut arched over the earth, her body dotted with stars, while Jeb, the earth god, lay beneath, holding the lands and mountains. The mighty Nile, the lifeblood of Egypt, was under the watchful eyes of Hapi, the god of its floods. Every year, Hapi's tears would flood the Nile, bringing silt and fertility to the land, ensuring bountiful harvests. And then there was Mat, the goddess of truth and order. She ensured balance in the world. Her feather of truth was the standard against which the hearts of the deceased were weighed in the afterlife. But how did the Egyptians feel amidst these mighty beings? They believed that the gods walked among them, guiding their pharaohs and ensuring mat art arts and order. Temples rose along the Nile, dedicated to these deities, places where priests and priestesses connected the mortal realm with the divine. In this land of myths and gods, every sunrise was a tale of victory, every flood a blessing, and every gust of wind a whisper from the gods. The ancient Egyptians didn't just believe in these stories. They lived them. For them, the tales of gods and creation weren't just legends. They were the fabric of reality, the threads that wove their daily lives. And so, as the sun sets on our tale today, remember the dawn of the Nile, where amidst the waters of chaos, life emerged. Gods were born, and the story of a civilization began.